All right, everybody, let's talk blades. That's what we're into today. Got a little Vitronox for you. Swiss Army Knife. Now, if you're not familiar with that, I mean, you gotta be. Everybody who knows what knives are, even just a little bit, knows what a Swiss Army Knife is. <laughs> Some people like to refer to them as jack knives, and um, it's actually not really a jack knife, but maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, simple little sl slip joint type multi tool, tool oriented kind of thing. Well, anyways, I got for you guys the adventurer. And it's the box that it comes in. Yes, it is the Red Adventure. Uh, nothing too crazy about the box. Yeah, it's just a box. And here's the knife. Now, everybody knows this logo, or people who knows anything about knives. I can say that uh, this is a very familiar knife. This one, on the other hand, is uh, quite interesting. Um, now, the reason why I chose this knife is because it is a locking knife. Uh, it has very basic stuff in it. Now, my favorite uh, Vitronox, in my personal opinion, is the Tinker Vitronox. Because it has all the stuff on there that I would normally use for everyday carry. Now, <laughs> when, I, when I go to work or when I'm just, you know doing stuff around my room or in my, in the house. I like to use things that are practical. And this is a very practical thing for me. It has simple features on it that I can use that are, you know, I don't have to sit here and neglect a whole Vitronox, you know, knife thing, but this one has one main blade and it locks in place right here. See where it says press right there. But the only thing that's weird about this is that it's more for lefties than it is for righties because I have to actually push it in from the opposite end rather than this side. It has a half stop, and it does close very smooth. It does have a nail nick, and it's got a close to three and a half inch blade on there. So you got a pretty hefty knife. Now, this is a type of knife that I would use. And, uh, in a very, very normal fashion. <clears throat> and it seems to be the kind of knife that is good for almost everything. So it's not like I need to worry about using serrations or anything like that. It's just a very simple, straightforward, you know, user blade. And of course, it has the uh, bottle opener. I think that's a wire strip right there. And then you got your Phillips flathead. And this is pretty hefty and it does lock on this side as well. So that's really neat that it has that feature. Just press it in and disengage it. Uh, you got your can opener on this side and even smaller flathead right there. Um, so would I use this for anything? Yeah, I would. I would use the can opener not to just open cans, though I've never really had a chance to use it for that. I would use it to scrape things because it's got that uh, it's got that little hooked in indentation where I can actually get into something and scrape something out of it or use that little little blade right there to uh, to scrape something out of it or pull something out. So this is a very useful tool. So very, very straightforward. Uh, nothing too crazy. You got your screwdriver right here and you have an awl or a reamer right here uh unfortunately it doesn't have the little hole like a normal one does for your for your threading but it does have a little usable blade right there so i mean it is useful i can use that for several different other things and you got your little lanyard loop right there you got your toothpick your standard vitronox toothpick which i can use for a lot of other things and, of course, you got your standard uh, Vitronox uh, tweezers, which I have yet to use tweezers, but I'm sure that they can come in handy getting into tight spots or places or if I ever need to. So this is more practical for me, and I really do like it because it gives it that extra security whenever I open it up. It's locked in place so I can use it and not have to worry about it closing on me like a normal slip joint. 
<clears throat> now that's what really caught my attention. And uh, this texture on here is a little bit more grippier than uh, the average polished plastic handle scales. So that's really nice. Um, what I really would have liked is if they use an actual metal shield on here like they normally do instead of having it painted on. But I mean, that's just a little cosmetic <laughs> issue. It's not even really an issue. It's just my personal taste. Um, everything else on this thing is, is actually pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the specs of this knife. Uh, it is pretty hefty in size. So uh, this is something that uh, you might want to consider having uh, a sheath for, or you could just drop it in your pocket and not give a damn. So, <laughs> I mean... In my opinion, I've carried this in my back pocket a few times, and uh, it's not uncomfortable, but you do feel it. It is there, and it does have a little bit of heft and weight to it. So, so the weight on this bad boy, if I can get it, you're looking at 3.74 ounces. So that's not bad. It's not bad at all, considering the size. Uh, could it be better? Sure. <laughs> but at the same time, it's still not bad for its size. And if I could, I really want to get a good measurement on this blade because it's a little confusing to me. So yeah, you're looking at the the reach from the handle to the tip is uh, three and a half inches. Actual cutting edge, you're looking at three and one eighths of actual cutting edge. Uh, close to eight inches. It's like a smidge under seven and three fourths, seven and seven eighths. So it's kind of, it's almost there, almost eight inches. So it's, it's a pretty hefty knife. And of course, calipers, if it means anything to anybody, you're looking at a 0 0.57 on the handle. So it is a bit of a chunker and a 0 0.06 on the blade. It is a pretty thin blade, but it is uh pretty good for the cutting. And, you know, just regular cutting tasks. Piercing, you got that nice tip right there, so it's not too bad. It's a decent knife all the way around. Um, I don't really see... With the Tinker, the original Tinker, not the Adventure, <laughs> the Tinker, um, it comes with two blades. So you got a smaller blade and you got a bigger blade. Whenever I use the Tinker knife, I always use the regular blade. I never really see myself using the smaller blade, so it's kind of a waste. Um, so this takes the hassle out of that. I don't have all the stuff I would actually use. And this seems a little bit more realistic to what I would use my, uh, Vitronox, my Swiss army knife for. So this is actually pretty decent. I have no, nothing really bad to say about this. I really do like it. Um, it does have a little bit of flex if you're if you're really, really pressing on the handle, you can actually see it kind of flex just a little bit. But I wouldn't worry about that as long as you're using it for what it's intended for. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, it's still very smooth. It opens up and closes pretty well. The ring here is kind of... It, I'm not used to that, but, you know, it is removable. But uh, for an everyday carry knife that has, you know, a little bit of tools on there, this is actually not bad. This is not bad. Not bad for the price. I think it's like, oh geez, like between 20 and 30 bucks for this guy. So if anything happens, you lose it or whatever. I mean, it's not going to break the bank to get a brand new one. <laughs> and this is just off Amazon. So I got this off Amazon. So it's not bad. I really do enjoy Vitronox. Um, if you're not looking for a very insanely crazy, scary knife, this is something to consider. You know, if you're a fan of Vitronox or if you're a fan of Swiss Army Knives, this is something to have in the collection. Um, I really do like the fact that the blade locks and that the uh, flathead screwdriver, the bigger flathead screwdriver locks. I think that's really cool. You know, the little bottle opener part. I think that's really awesome. Whenever I have a soda or something, I can just pop it open and, you know, enjoy a soda if I really wanted to. So I think I, I, this is a really useful everyday practical in my opinion carrying kind of knife now there are other knives for other reasons <laughs> i'm not going to get into uh but this is a great kind of low profile edc kind of knife 
if especially if you want something that's a little bit bigger than your average you know vitronox blade uh this will do it for you at least in my opinion it doesn't you know it's it's not a full four inch blade but close to three and a half inches and you got a lot of blade that's a lot of decent blade right there to use for cutting you know so this is a this is a very practical use knife and i really do like it i've used it a couple times i think i opened up a couple boxes with it uh, i even pried i even did a little bit of light prying with this with this right here because it locks in place so i don't have to worry about it shifting around i can just you know i had to open up a small can of paint with it so i just and it opened with ease so really really cool you know it just makes sense to use something like this I don't know. It just worked really well. I would have liked this if it came in like a gray <laughs> or even a black. It would be really, really nice. But uh, the red's not bad. It's kind of like a like a cherry red, so it's really nice. Um, like I said, it fits in the in the back of my pocket. It sits like this, so I feel it at the back of my pocket. It does have a little bit of weight to it, but it's not bad. Um, if I need it, I just pull it out the pocket, and you know. I can't open it with one hand. Obviously, that's the only takeaway with this. It is a two-handed opening knife. You got your nail nick right there. You got your half stop. So this is something that's uh, that's going to take time to open and effort. So if you're looking for a knife that can be opened with one hand, this Vitronox would probably not be good for that. <laughs> Unless you want to put like some sort of a thumb stud on here if you even have the room for it. I don't even think I would have the room to put a thumb stud on there. But it works. I mean, this is a practical, for me, perfect for EDC kind of knife. So my whole thing is, though, um, I always carry something a little bit bigger, something a little bit more my style. But uh, I've been kind of getting into Vitronox knives lately because of its uh, practical and useful uh, use and everyday usage, you know, so it's it's uh, it's good stuff. So. If you are into those kind of knives, well, then by all means, check this one out, especially if it doesn't break the bank. This thing is pretty damn affordable. So <laughs> if you're not one of those guys who's like, man, I don't want to spend, you know, over $50 for a knife. This is something you want to look into. Uh, they have other kinds. I think there's another adventurer that has kind of like a, it's got like a little button on the back. I think yeah, it's got like a little sliding button on the back that locks. Uh, a lot of people don't like that one. At least from what I heard, uh, because the liner lock is uh, stronger. I'm not entirely sure about that. I've only seen videos and pictures, uh, but this one is really great. I really do like the liner lock on this one. It really does make a difference, uh, at least to me anyway. So I really do like it. It uh, most of the time it finds a place in my pocket because <laughs> I just there's so many uses that I could use all that stuff for, and it just seems like it makes sense. Um, other knives, probably not so much, you know, I'd be like, ah, what am I doing? Am I prying? Well, I probably should be prying with this, you know, and then I opt out and not use my knife or anything other than cutting this one. You can use it for so much and, uh, just makes more sense. So go ahead and slash that like button, stab that subscribe, slice that bell icon. So you guys are notified anytime I post new stuff in these craziest of times, everybody, please be kind, be safe, carry responsibly, and I'll see you all awesome people in the next video.